Hey, hey, hello, welcome to my channel, Triple Two Tarot. This is Gultuba. I'm back with another pick a card reading for all of you. And today's reading will be the person on your mind, whoever this person is. What are they currently feeling and thinking about you? What's going on in their head and heart for you? And what are they planning? What are they going to do next? What are they going to say to you next? What is happening in this connection or situation or in this relationship, whatever is in your mind? Um, obviously, it's love, relationship, situationship, or anything that's very complicated right now. And you want to know that. Uh, what is this all about and where this is going where this is heading what is the outcome what do you need to know about this person and you you versus them all that stuff going on in this relationship so it's going to be a general reading as i always say on my channel please take what resonates and leave the rest you can book a personal reading everything is given in description reach out to me for more personal readings if you want to you can even follow me on instagram link is given in description i uh, do not get scammed i will never contact you anywhere this is going to be a verified um, instagram account so obviously uh, so let's start the reading. You have a three tarot deck in front of you with the crystal on it. Choose intuitively whatever the group is calling you. Number one is this beautiful amethyst heart crystal. Number two is this white calcite. Number three is the raw citrine. So choose intuitively. I'm going to meet you on your reading. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe with the notification bell and give me your feedback. I will really, really appreciate it. Think about that person, that situation and we're going to channel this energy. I'm also going to use the charms because you guys love it so why not we're going to use the charms for all the piles uh, we have a lot of stuff going on let's go let's start the reading like share and subscribe gonna see you on your reading bye will you meet their group number one welcome if you choose this beautiful amethyst crystal so let's see what's happening first we're going to see some type of oracles card to see basically what's happening in your relationship what's going on i'm gonna channel some energy you could be a Pisces or Aquarius, or this person could have a Pisces Aquarius placement. I'm seeing the horse. So they could be born into a horse here of Chinese. Or it could be a Sagittarius. We have a loyal. Uh, passion for you, honesty, divine masculine. Oh, this person is a heart. They could be divine masculine, pronounced as he or masculine energy. Sorry. They're sorry. An apology. Could be a black person or dark person I'm picking up. You're dealing with making plans moving forward dark night of the soul there's a lot of dark energy so they could be in a dark right now but they definitely want a reconciliation if this is somebody who want to apologize want to fix things um and some of you they could be if this is a new person or somebody that you just wanted to get to know so definitely somebody who is definitely dark going through dark night of the soul they're forgiving their past and they're wanting to start maybe a new beginning because they're planning about their future to move forward whoever this is yeah there's something that they need to compromise again i'm picking up the dog so they could be born into a dog here we have a guidance reverse so they could be not listening to their inner guidance or overall the guidance and not paying attention to it this person used to live alone or they could have been in a hermit mode i'm picking up they used to live with their dog alone so this is somebody who's a homebody so they need to definitely think about it a lot Okay, this could be even a confession coming. I'm seeing a lot of dark black color. So it could be black and gray, it could be very important, or I'm picking up, it could be even scorpion. But we also have a fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I, I was picking up already Sagittarius, yeah. So Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries, you could be dealing with a fire sign. Look at this burning desire and passion for you. So either this person is falling in love, if this is a new person, this is somebody that you're trying to get to know, um, or this is somebody who's making the plans to say to you, uh, you know, like, they're sorry, they want to say, apologize, or they want to apologize, they want to say sorry, they want to confess. It's like the desire is still there, they want to reconcile, they want to reconnect. They maybe need to compromise for something. And maybe they're ready to compromise now. Now let's see how this person truly feels and think about you. So that's all energy overall going on. But let's see. What does this person truly feel and think about you? What's going on? Okay, a lot already. King of Wands, definitely a fire sign. It's Phoenix rising, right? Now, this person could be coming from the ashes, rises from the ashes. Either this person already have a bad past or something from the past that they need to forgive and lean, um, forgive and leave and let it go and ready for a fresh start with you. Or this is somebody you both have something going on. So it's a reconnection. Four of Cups, um, Nine of Cups. 
Yeah, there's definitely something. Maybe this person want to reconnect with you, want to compromise with you. Page of Swords, Five of Cups. Mm. Could be a fire and air sign you guys are. Could be fire and water because I think there was something between you and this person. The King of Wands and the Four of Cups. This person maybe disappointed you. But you definitely gonna, you like this person, you confess your feelings to this person and now you're waiting for them. Or you feel rejected or ignored by this person for some of you. Now they have to tell you that they like you or they fell in love or whatever. If this is a new person, for some of you, whoever is resonating with the new person or somebody that you are feeling left out in the cold, you think they don't like you, they think you don't like them, so there's a misunderstanding. Because I'm saying this person is, the moment this person is going to confess their love to you or they're going to confess about their feelings, um, everything is going to, you're going to be happy. You're definitely going to be happy. Hmm. Let's see more. What are the intentions? To heal things. Or to heal. Overall, they're healing. Because I'm saying this person is resting. They're in the process. They're healing. Um, and what are the intentions? If this is somebody who hurt you, they want to definitely heal the situation. They want to... Seven of Wands. Deja Vu. 22 could be important here. And we have a Queen of Coins. Their intentions are, if you're a woman watching this video, or female, and this is a masculine, obviously, and we have a divine feminine, queen of coins, I think. You're very nurturing, you're very uh, earthy. You could be earthy and they could be fire. Uh, you could be watery and they could be a fire or air. Uh, air and earth, or fire and earth, fire and water, that type of energy I'm picking up here. Um, this is somebody with a deja vu. It's like they're finally realizing that you're the one. Uh, are they getting some type of a, uh, it's like, because the mirror is broken, this is like, their ego is crushed or there's something that they know that they can't escape from it. You maybe show the mirror. You tell them something or did something or said something to this person or whatever you did. Your action, your behavior or the way you talk to this person or you did something. It's like it's really, really cracked. It's like crushed something. You show them the mirror. They, you really literally told this person, like, look in the mirror. What are you doing? With the deja vu, this person definitely feels some type of a connection with you. Now, some of you, this could be awakening. This is somebody who's awakening to it. Remember, I told you, like, dark night of a soul. They're going through it. They were in a denial, or right now, still, they're in a denial. They will, in the process of it, uh, to realize a lot of things. But there's something crushed in them. It's like falling apart. It's like there's something need to reconnect, reconnect or regenerate or transform in their life. Rebuild, basically. Rebuild. They need to rebuild themselves. Okay, I'm also picking up with this Queen of Pentacles. You are the person that is very nurturing, very um, they're finally understanding your worth, value. Uh, they're finally realizing that they love you. They can't replace you also. So this is what their intention is, to make it work. But it looks like it's too much for this person, that maybe the energy is too much. And that's why they're resting or they're trying to maybe make a strategy because we have a plans to how to fix it, how to make it happen and how to go from here, wherever you are together in this journey. Now let's see what they will do next, their action towards you. Their next action or move towards you, what will happen next? What are they planning to do or death? Yeah. I told you, transformation. You're going to see intense um, transformation in this person. You're going to see totally this person is changed and transformed. They're not the same person, to be honest. Something is like, yeah, this is not easy. This person is changing. And when I'm cha talking about change, it's not just a change like happening on a, on a surface or outer level. You're going to see this person is completely changed. The, the, the way they're going to move, they're going to talk, they will have connections, the way they're going to rebuild themselves, the way they're going to act. 
the um, the way they're going to make things they, they're going to compromise so there is a lot of things that you will see that this person is changing i told you this person has a scorpio placements um could be a fire also fire sign heavy fire but the, with the air you could be a water and an earthy from you i'm picking up water and earth and from them i'm picking up like fire air and could be fixed sign let's see especially scorpio let's see um their plan the high priestess reverse yeah look at this Pisces and scorpio i told you so high priestess we know that it's a secret so what they're going to do next is going to they're going to express they're going to not keep it to themselves they're going to express something is confession coming from them it's a big move from this person by the way because we have two major arcana it's a big move and after this confession i told you your life is not going to same be same and this person also knows that once they're going to take action once they're going to confess once they're going to come to you they need to be loyal they need to prove their loyalty they need to compromise in a lot of things that's what this person is planning and processing because they know that with this queen of uh, coin uh, doesn't matter your man or woman they like this person knows that you are the person of like values um you are the person of like you're very nurturing you're loving you're caring you're generous you deserve it and they're really putting you on pedestal and that's why they want to change because there's something about your energy your aura is really making this person that they're in love and they need to be come to you clean or it's like they should be like they can't come with you like with the past energy even though this is a past person because we already saw reconciliation so they know that you're not going to accept it with the seven of wands you're not going to accept it they need to come correct i'm hearing i don't come you this is your energy if you block this person or you're not talking to this person they know that and others of you this is somebody new or some someone that you're feeling complicated or confused or mixed signals or you're not understanding where, where are they where, why they're not talking why they're not coming because they're going through some intense energy this is what this person going to do they're going to confess they're going to it's like reveal their secret they're going to tell you something they may be even wanting to tell you about their past something about dark past some of you because i'm seeing the dark night of a soul like there's something that they're going to share with you that they're keeping it to themselves only yeah there's going to be a, something big that it's a big secret coming from this person mouth it's it's going to be a big move i don't know why i'm picking up it's going to be big something big for this person from something big it's not going to be same your relationship is not going to be the same after that um maybe this person also expecting from you to express your feelings do not be with the seven of wands be defensive it's triggered this person ego when you you're defensive and you're not expressive uh, and it's really making this person disturbed a lot some of you they're not understanding with the five of cups they think that you're not interested they also want effort from you they could be even with the page of sort spying on you or checking on your social media or they keep looking at you that what are you doing who you're talking to they also want and expect from you to be expressive to tell them how you feel two of coins yeah this person could be even right now thinking about it they could be even very busy yeah this is something who need to drop something it's like they need to make a big change they know it but they could be busy right now with the two of coins it could be even something to do with thinking too much like how should i do it oh yeah they're going to do it it wants again you can see the lightning thunder could be on this full moon that's happening in the fire because look at the fire so could be this full moon is happening on 23rd uh may and i'm definitely recording this on 22 yeah so could be something is going to and i'm also saying it's not the horse it's a unicorn giving me the vibe of unicorn so something magical is going to happen between you and this person on this fire moon full moon yeah sagittarius so this person if even though you have a sagittarius or this person has a sagittarius placement something is changing in this connection it's moving forward with the eight of wands something is going to move forward in this connection and i think it's a cosmic moving forward things between you and this person it it should be like this like this person need to express it they need to do something they need to say now some of you this person even going to travel to see you if they live far away from you there's something that they're going to declare 
because they're playing they're, they're making plans they need to make a plans so obviously but eight of wands is like something is going to move forward between you and this person it's not going to be the same something is also going to be on the balance something is going to be equal give and take a balance between you and this person and they want it they want the balance Oh yeah, the hangman and eight of swords. Yeah, things are stuck. Things are stuck between you and this person right now. Or will be stay. Some of you, this is going to still stuck uh, because this person is not listening to the intuition, inner guidance. Look, it's look like with the eight of swords, so they can't sleep. They could be even self-sabotaging it by their own fears, anxiety, tension, afraid of rejection or a lot of things going on. Uh, because I'm also seeing the spirit is talking to this person, but they're not. I hope they listen. I hope, see, I hope they, they get the signs that the universe is trying to give them. Some of you, they're definitely going to feel still stuck. They could maybe even going to reach out to you in the month of August because number eight is coming a lot, a lot of number. Um, you could be seeing eight, eight, triple two, or double two, double eight, these type of numbers. So that's a message for you. So this, for some of you, this is going to happen in, till then August. Uh, I'm picking up in the Leo season maybe. Something about fiery season I'm picking up, fiery, because it's going to catch a fire, a lot of fire. And desire like this person not gonna hold back but i think some of you it's happening on this is after that you're gonna see the change in the next eight days or 10 days or 12 days you're gonna see the change in this connection they're gonna reach out yeah magician and strength because this connection is very powerful you're really really connected to each other they could be even born into tiger year or you could be now let's see uh anything else what they want to say to you so i'm seeing things will change from this sabotage energy or at least some of you, this is like cosmic energy, like you're going to see some type of big changes happening in this connection. Are you going to feel the big changes in this person? That's going to be a sign for you to reach out to this person because they also want and expect from you to be clear, to be honest with them. So then they're going to make a move because they think that you may be not interested as much as they are. Or maybe this is like, it's very intense for this person still. They're going through big changes. It's not easy. This person needs to change the perspective about love. Or maybe you, you need to change the perspective about them. Pisces and Scorpio, definitely again. Could be even Libra I'm picking up. Um, look at this, you are too good for me. Yeah, this person thinks that they're not good enough. Um, I need you to need me like I need you, what I told you. So this person wants you to, this person definitely needs you, but they also expect from you to need them like they need you. I hope you understand. So maybe they're waiting for a sign from you. They definitely, and they can't see the sign from you. Um, maybe they're waiting for like you need to drop the hint or give them some type of a sign you make me feel things I have never felt before yeah they feel definitely cosmic connection I want to make love to you this person could be even coming very passionately in your dreams or you could be in the next especially on this full moon or in the next 12 or 10 days you're gonna feel so horny because of this person because they're really desiring you there's a fire desire this person really want to make love to you you're gonna feel it I do talk about you and they maybe talk about it to other people or maybe in their angels, ancestors. I don't know. They talk to about it. I, all I really want is to see you again. And they don't know what to do. I want to hold you. Yeah, they don't want to let you go. Whoever this is. This is that person who is definitely going through a dark night of a soul and transformation. They just want you to stay. I have inner child wounds. It came up reverse. So yeah, this person is struggling with that. And this is something about their trust issues. This is something about their worth, their insecurity. Like, especially they think that they're not good enough for you. I want to regain your trust. This is that person who want to try again or reconnect with you. Uh, Loki, this person is really obsessed with you. I'm secretly obsessed with you. I'm tired of crying and hurting over you. I know you are the one for me. It's like this person really tried to move on from you or tried to cut the cards, but they can't. I'm shutting you out. I need more time. Yeah, this is somebody, some of you, this person could be trying to ignore it. So this is for those people I told you like it's going to happen in August because this person could be running away from it. Or maybe they don't find the solution yet. They don't know what to do. They could be trying to shut you out, not think about you, make, gonna make themselves busy. Because we are humans. We, it's all about us if we're going to, you know, face our shadows or not or the instincts or not remember i talk about deja vu so this person feel this connection and they really felt it or they could be getting the signs if they're ignoring it obviously you can't help 
it's it's their choice it's their decision obviously it's their work to do okay but maybe all you need to do is like to give them a hint or drop the hint or uh, maybe be expressive tell them your truth and if you love them confess to them make it clear to them or at least give them the hint or indirect hint or something that you're into them or you like them if you never did that and if you already did that it's mean that maybe they're still waiting for you to give them some type of a hint or drop the hint that you're still interested if you really love them and that's why you're here because you want to know that if how they feel and think about you if you want to mend the situation if you want to reconcile with them and if this is somebody new and you're they're, they're struggling with something and if you already make the confession or you need to at, the, at least be present in this person's life because they really don't want you to let it go but i'm not ta talking about like you just need to be you know all over the place because this person is really need a time so let's see more this dropped out from here, I'm gonna see that. Hmm. Anything else? Okay, let's see it. What we have? The forbidden love. Yeah, look at this. The love is not is not allowed. Or this person always maybe uh, because 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 of their past, maybe they already made a promise like they're never gonna fall in love. Something like that. Yeah, you have the key to. You have the key to this person, by the way. So you open this person to heart or they never felt this way before. Now let's see the, we have a S-A-T. Sad. Sad. Yeah, they're sad. Could be. You have a South Africa. Could be. Tad. I. Sit. Tits. Maybe they like your tits. I don't know what's going on here. Thai. Yeah. It's like a soul tie I'm picking up. Thai. They could be even tired also I'm picking up here. And I'm also picking up Saudia, so this person could be from that or Sweden, or I like Sweden, Sudan, I don't know, Canada. I love you, yeah, it's coming twice. So this person definitely have a confession to make. They know that, it's not gonna, yeah, candy. They're gonna be very sweet with you or they wanna take you on a date. Some of you, it could be a candy or something to do with eye candy, you were them, live in the present, love triangle could be, or this is like a very complicated situation ongoing on, this person definitely gonna appreciate your beauty with a flower or there's something about, they're gonna give you flowers, they think you're so beautiful, there's something about your eyes, they feel like you're an angel, you're totally different, you could be cute, they're gonna call you with the names I'm picking up, could be Rose, you have a name Rose, yeah, look at this, it's like snowflake, I think it's like, right, yeah, so it's like you're this person's snowflake, you're this desire, ideal partner that they always wanted. But maybe the love is not allowed, allowed for a reason or they don't allow to love. I don't know, DNA. Yeah, this is your soulmate or twin for some of you. Because I'm thinking of DNA. Just peachy, maybe they love your peaches. They want to see your peaches. Yeah, pinky promise. It's like someone can't want to confess, focus on the good. We have an amethyst coming twice also. So they want to heal the situation. Could be Aries or, why well, I said Aries, could be Pisces or Aquarius, but Aries. Yeah, you could be intuitive and psychic and they can see it. Or you just, yeah, you, you need to trust your intuition. O, A, another A, E. O, another O, they maybe have a double letters in their name, another E. Yeah, we have this tree. You are my special angel. Yeah, this person definitely going to call you angel. You change this person's life, I think. They think that you're divinely sent. But they could even come off like very stubborn. Or they want to think, make, make control things, they want to do things their own way. This is also someone who could have leadership qualities or they could be very attractive. Yeah, we have Rain, Russia, Ray, Two of Wands, yeah, decision. Still in the process, like they need to make a plan, yeah, for the love and heart. It's definitely a confession coming for some of you. Yeah, the gem, uh, diamond, gem, or something. They may be even going to give you a diamond ring or something, best friend forever, yeah, it's gonna be your buddy. Or maybe they want to start a friendship with you. 
So we have this um, snake or serpent, what they call, or the skull. Yeah, it's a definitely transformative connection. I think it's not going anywhere. It's a soul connection. It's a soul tie. It could be even Scorp if this is a Scorpio or this is somebody from past life, if you believe in that. We also have a six of swords. Yeah, they want to fix the situation between you and them. 62 or 26 could be important. We have the star, Aquarius. Uh, it's like an ideal dream come true, healing the process, making wishes are coming true. This is also the connection that's healing both of you or it's destined. It's destined to happen, it's not going anywhere, or will happen at some point. So that's your reading, like, share, and subscribe. I'm going to see you later. Bye. Hello, group number two. Welcome. If you choose this beautiful white crystal with this pink shadow deck. But first, we're going to check it out about your person energy from some type of oracle deck. What are they currently feeling and thinking about you, the person, group number two? The person on their mind. What's going on with them? What are they currently feeling and thinking? Let's go. This person have options. Or they have a choice to make. Let's see. Hmm. Okay, some of you, this is a complicated situation. I'm already picking up here. Something is between you and this person is like... Okay, there's a third party. You know it or not. We have a fast move. It came up reverse. So this is not moving forward. This connection is stuck. And this person is not taking action. Or this is somebody that who ghosted you. Or this is somebody who's not coming to you. So there's no, I don't think so. There's a movement coming from this person either. Or they're not moving forward. It's, it's happening very slow. So this could be even confusing because of a third party. But we also have a soul contract. This person is going to reach out to you on a, any Mercury retrograde. They're definitely going to come back if they ghosted you. This could be even secrets holding back the facts. They're not telling you, by the way. Uh, this person is really making it complicated. They could have been playing the games. Because when I see the cards here, this card, the game, it's like they want to have their cake and eat it too. More than one love. So they could be in love with you, but they could be also in love with that third person or third party. It's like they, they want or they need both things. It's crazy. But could be. It's like they want to have you, but they also want to have the third party. It's like... That's why they're having a difficult time to make a decision. Or this could be a very complicated situation because they need to make a one choice and they can't leave. It's like they, they can't leave without you, but at the same time, they can't leave with that situation that they're in right now. So this could be anything. This could be their fast movement, their fast life, that they're living. Um, it could be something to do with their career, but could be even influence of the other person. But I'm thinking of this is definitely something to do with the decision that they need to make. They need to leave something behind. They need to make the big changes. It could be even a long distance also because I'm seeing the plane and car. So they need to take. That's why they may be keeping it low key, not telling you. They're holding back, obviously. Leave behind does not serve you. It looks like this person is having a difficult time to let this third party go or situation go. This could be when they're holding still on the X. Are they still holding on the wounds because we have an inner child? Because they like think that you're also going to do the same what happened to them in the past. Hmm. This is very complicated. And that's why this person is giving you the mixed signals. And you're confused could be. Because things are not uh, moving forward. We have an extroverted, it's came up reverse. So this is very introverted person. Or they could be very secretive. I can see that. You have no idea what's going on in this person's life. They could be even disappeared from the social media. Or right now things are not moving forward. And you have no idea what are they planning. What they want to do. What they want to say. What's going on. You have no idea because they're very introverted or they could be very reserved and secretive person. They just want to keep it to themselves only. Interesting. You could be mirroring this person. You both could have an inner child because these two came up together. So it's mean that definitely you're mirroring each other inner child's wounds. Um, you both are keeping it to secret on only to yourself and you both are making it complicated. You both also could be very introverted people not expressing too much. You may be expecting from them and they're expecting from you. So who's going to leave the past behind? So yeah, for some of you it's a definitely 
um, something that you both are mirroring and it could be your karmic partner. Look at this yin and yang. So whatever issues you have, this person also have the same issues. Or this person, so some of you, they could already have a karmic partner in their life that they need to let it go. Interesting. We have a boundaries. Um, you, you maybe stop talking to this person. You need, you, you, you need to maybe make a boundary with this person. Stop giving your energy to this person. Self-discipline like you really need to focus on. Like if they're not giving you back this energy or making you confused, don't be obsessed with this person or this energy because maybe they're not available. Obviously, you can see that. We also have a nostalgia. I think you remind them of something or someone from their past and they don't want to face it. Again, it's look like you are this, you are the mirror of something else. You could be even triggering this person, to be honest, uh, inner child wounds and they don't want to face it. This is somebody who's going through intense awakening right now or mirroring. You both are mirroring each other. Look at this boundary, speak up. It's this written here, literally it's written here, speak up. This person need to speak up or you need to or you both need to. I think this is the reading. I'm not going to blame this person only if you are also not speaking. And if you already speak up, this person need to leave, speak up. It's, you, you have done your done. You have done your job. You have done your work. Now make the boundary and heal yourself because this person is triggering you. Or if this person need to make a choice because we have. It's like this person has an option. They need to make a choice. It's nothing to do with you. Now they need to decide. It's their life. They need to cho choose. They need to make a decision. But I think they're coming forward. Look at this. They want to come forward. And I think this is somebody who's going to get some type of a liquid courage or strength to speak up their feelings. They want to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. They're even going to invite you on some type of a bar. Or there's a party going on here. But bar, something to do with a bar. Like they're going to... Yeah, this person could be a photographer. They could even travel a lot. Or they maybe want to take you somewhere. Or you remind them of something or someone or something in their life past memories, thinking about old times. And if you shared or make the memories with this person, if this is a, a, your person that from past, or something between you and this person is like not going well, or stopped, or, or they ghosted you, or they left, it means they're definitely missing you thinking about, especially your pictures. And if this is a new person and they're triggered, um, or things are complicated, or you're not understanding, let me tell you they're definitely going through some shit. We also have quality time. Yeah, your lung, okay, la, la, la. <laughs> So uh, your love language could be uh, quality time or this person. I think you're gonna spend the time together. So spending time with you, deep conversation, and we have a heart to heart. This person really wanted, they wanna talk to you. They want to have this deep conversation and heart to heart conversation with you. They want to really express you their feelings. And they will speak up, but they're having a difficult time. Some of you, this person could be even have a throat chakra issues because I'm picking up, they're not speaking. Look at this, it's like a secret. They're always, I don't know, they used to be like this from a childhood or this is somebody who's keeping it to themselves because of a third party, they can't speak. It's like there's something. And uh, look at this, how I'm picking up here. Like the way they want to talk to you, you're going to listen to them. Or they just want and expect from you to listen to them and spend the time with you. They're even waiting for you to speak up if you never speak up, to be honest. They just want you to let down your guards and tell them how you feel. And others of you, this is about them. They're going to speak up. But, but yeah, five of pentacles. This person is really, um, yeah, there's a ghosting energy. I don't know, either you ghosted them or they ghosted. Someone is feeling left out in the cold, but you both are feeling it in this way. You think they are not interested, they don't like you, they're not into you, they're not coming, and they, they feel the same way. We also have a page of wands. This person really wants to talk to you. And they will, I think. They will. Some of you, this person will do that. Page of wands. Yeah, communication. Like, it's about chit-chat, being flirty with you. Being passionate, trying to, you know, get your attention. And they maybe think you're not giving them attention. Two of Pentacles, yeah, this person is juggling how to do it. How to confess it, how to make it happen. They could be even dropping the hints. Um, yeah, this person is really going through a lot. Five, five of Cups. They could be even missing you. Are you remind them of someone from their past? That's why they're afraid. 
to jump into this connection or this situation. Eight of Swords. Yeah, this is a ghosting energy. This person also sabotaging it, to be honest. They maybe think that you're not interested. You don't like them. No matter what this person is doing or saying, it looks like you're not reciprocating. So this is somebody who thinks that you're not... Yeah, I think this is also you. It's coming from you because you both are mirroring. So you are expecting from them to come and confess it and they want from you. But I think they're dropping the hints or they keep giving you the hints or they keep posting stuff and I think they're trying to get your attention or them, no matter how much they're doing, it looks like they think you're not reciprocating their energy. This person is definitely feeling left out in the cold and stuck and sabotage. They don't know what to do. They're definitely juggling. Maybe about you and somebody else. Like they need to make a decision here. Oh, that's a lot. But I saw Page of Cups. This person really want to talk to you. They want to have this deep converse, conversation, talk, communication, expression. And if you used to talk to them, they just want you to keep talking to them. Don't leave them. Uh, Knight of Pentacles. This person is being very slow. Something like, they could be when, yeah, I think this person's priority is something else. Could be their work, career, I don't know, something else. But they're being cautious here. They're being slow. Knight of Cups. This person likes you also. They, they really do. But for some of you, this person could be even their pride in the way. They're showing like they're fine, but they're not. Yes, of course. This person needs love. They're falling in love. They are in love. And you could be this new love for this person, to be honest. They're pretending to cool, act fine, everything is fine. It's not. They're falling in love or they need your love. I don't know if this is a new beginning in love. They want to start it all over again with you. Or this is somebody um, that could be coming out of some of their own phase and they, you are this person, new beginning. They like you. They do. They have a crush on you. They admire you. You are this like ideal partner. They want to give you this cup, their feelings, expression. They really want to do it. It's like they want this love for Mary. They want your offer. If you if accept, give them some type of offer and you think they're not accepting, no, they did. It's like they want it. They want your cup. They want your offer. But it's like they can't be, they can't give you what you need right now, maybe. Or they can't be what you're expecting from them right now. Because they could be younger than you. The Knight of Pentacles and Page of Wands. Yeah, they could be younger than you. And they need to do a lot of work. But this person is also lost, I can tell you. They're lost. They could be not um, with this uh, complicated energy. They don't know what to do. They have no idea what to do. They may be waiting for, I told you, that's what I'm ta talking about, speak up. Like they're waiting for a signal from you. Like what do you want? Where you want to let this situation go? Maybe they're waiting for you to confess them, to like, tell them how you like, you like them or not. And if you think that they flirt with you, they give you a signal, they, they drop the hints, anything. Like they're watching you, they're staring at you. They could even give you compliments. It's a sign. that It's like this person is like, I'm doing it. Why are you not reciprocating it? So it's like something like... Let's see what are the intentions. Yeah, this person could be a Taurus or they could be even have a lot of water energy uh, in their chart. Uh, they could be even air sign, especially Libra. I'm picking up Taurus or it could be Sagittarius. Yeah, what are the intentions? King of Wands. They're going to take action. They want to take the lead. Um, they also want you to trust them. They will. It's like they're in the process of from page to king. You will see the big change in this person. Their intentions are to make it happen, to be honest. But they're in the process of it. From page to, you will see from page, knight, and then king. Yeah, this person is going to take it slow. You will see the improvement in this person. Like they, they could even have a long-term plans with the king of wands. They definitely have a lot of plans, a lot of goals. They could be even very passionate about you with the King of Wands, like very passionate. They like you, their feelings, their attraction towards you, they're very passionate. They could be even desiring you. Queen of Wands, oh my God. It never happened. Yeah, you're not seeing eye to eye. That's it. <laughs> 
I'm not going to pull any other card because I just got the answer. It's enough for me. King and Queen of Wands. That's intentions is like, look at this. You're not mirror. It's, it's a divine couple. Look at this. King and Queen of Wands. It's a divine couple. But it came up like this. It means that you're not seeing eye to eye. Now, I don't know. I'm not sure if you're a woman or man, um, king or queen, whatever you call yourself. You're not seeing eye to eye. You both are pretending like, I'm fine. I'm not interested. I don't like you. Um, I have my own intentions. And this person's like, I have my own priorities. So you both are not on the same page. And at the same time, you're mirroring each other. So you could be running away from your own feelings, or you could be running away to face them, or to express them, to confess them, and that's what they, they are doing. It's like they're, they're giving you the answer in your mirror. So this is somebody who's mirror soulmate, or divine counterpart. They are your divine counterpart. But unfortunately, you're not understanding or learning the lesson. You both are. So I think you need to express, you need to confess. The moment you're going to do that, everything is going to change. So let's see if you, if you need to confess them. Let me see. My viewer, uh, if you need to confess it or not. What is advice? If you need to confess them or not. Now the ones, take action. What are you waiting for? <laughs> oh, go for it. They're saying go for it. Yeah. So I don't know. That's the answer. Um, take it or not. It's going to be up to you. Now, some of you, you could have an option. Remember, I told you options, so you maybe have eyes on somebody else, and you're not even seeing this person eye to eye with the options, or maybe they have eye on somebody else, or something to need to let it go. But I think this is about your decision. You need to take action. You need to take the lead. It's okay. Let them know about your feelings. But if you already did that, I'm not saying that you need to go back and being rejected or being confused. I saw 4141, it's a 55. Five. So the change is there. Maybe this is your choice. You need to make a choice. But let's see uh, what will happen next in this connection. What is this person going to do? What this person will do next? I think you both could be a fire sign. Two of wands. Yeah, they're waiting. Look at this. They're definitely... It looks like this person is waiting for you. What you want to do? What, where you want to go? Uh, what are your plans? Tell me. I will do it. They will keep looking at you. They will keep maybe watching you from a distance. Loving you from afar, I'm hearing. The magician, yeah, they keep trying to attract you. They keep trying to get your attention. They keep trying to communicate with you. This is also somebody who could be very like, um, yeah, they're trying to impress you. They will keep trying to impress you. It's, it's looked like this person is keep trying things so you can talk and come to them and tell them how you feel. Because they really want it from you. If this is a masculine person. Uh, yeah, they could be living, living in far away from you. Maybe that's a problem right now. Um, there could be Gemini or Virgo. We have an infinite symbol. You're really connected with each other. Something is also going to happen in the next eight days, um, 20 days. And for some of you, it's a month of August. Maybe something going to happen. Next two months, yeah. The moon. Look at the major arcana. It looks like they keep trying to tell you. They keep trying. They keep giving you the hints. With the moon and the magi magician. And yeah, they keep telling you. Because this person is very reserved. It's a secret. Like they keep telling you the secret but you're not getting it. They keep dropping it. The hints. This person even could be. You both are very, very telepathically connected with each other. It's a very intuitive and psychic connection. You both could be coming into, into each other's dreams. Now for some of you, pay attention to it. What this person is doing or saying to you in the dreams. That's a big message. It's very intense, I think. Let's see what they will do next because it's all, maybe some of you, it's all in your head going on. You maybe think it's all in your head. It's a confusion. It's a delusion. It's not. Maybe you need to let this person know or maybe they're thinking it's too good to be true. It's a delusion. It's an illusion. Because you both, I'm telling you, you both are hiding it. You both are not expressive. You both are not, when I'm talking about not expressive, it's mean your actions are not matching with your words. Take the lead what you feel, what you desire. Go after it. So this person knows that you are in. Let's see what they're going to do next. Because I'm... Oh, devil. It's definitely obsession. You both are very obsessed with each other. This person is afraid. They're afraid to talk to you. Something is stopping them also to, to talk to you. With the moon and the devil, this is obsession going on. I'm telling you. They're secretly obsessed with you. Capricorn, 
Um, they could be even Gemini. They could be even Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, but they could have, a, I'm telling you, if they have a Capricorn moon, Gemini moon, Virgo moon, Aries moon, they're keeping it to themselves. They could be very secretly obsessed with you or they could be desiring you. Like they could be even, think, to be honest, they're thinking about how to do it with you, you know, passionately. They could be coming in your dreams, doing stuff with you. I think this person is, is really, really watching you. They're observing you. They're being cautious. They're very afraid to talk to you. It's like something is fear is blocking them. But they could be also cannot contact you right now. They want to keep it secret. So obsession for this person. We have a page of swords. I think they will talk. Look at this justice. But it's a matter of the divine timing when they will come. So it's a different for different people. Something is stopping them. It's like... They can't do it right now for some reason. But they keep giving you the hints. They keep... Let's see what they want to say to you. What are their messages to you? I cannot. This is a three major arcana. Their action is like they keep... They keep it's like keep giving you hints. It's going to be very clear the way this person gonna do something or act or behave with you they're definitely gonna show you their interest their physical interest or something about their interest like they're gonna tell you you're gonna see it from their body language the way they talk um, yeah there's something about they're very obsessed I choose to be with you if this person has an option they're gonna choose you you always know how to make me smile. You have no idea the pain you have caused me. Okay, so some of you, this is a karmic partner, definitely. I can feel your desire for me. Yeah, you both are desiring this devil energy, yes. You're both desiring each other. You both are passionate. Physically, very, very, this person is physically so obsessed and attracted to you. I have inner child wounds. I want you here next to me. Yeah, this person going crazy. They want to spend the night with you, to be honest. They think about you at a night. They maybe, for some of you, I'm not going to lie, they maybe do some stuff at a night to themselves. It's like a pleasure, self-pleasure. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm sorry. Okay, I really have not been happy without you. So this person is definitely not happy. They're pretending. You both are pretending, to be honest. If you got triggered, I'm sorry. It's still not over, boo. So this person definitely not. They don't think it's over. They will come back. You make me feel things I've never felt. You are too good for me. I don't desire anyone the way I desire you. This person is literally desiring you. They're passionate about you. I saw 11, 11. Make a wish. Nothing else matters but you. Oh, I want to make love to you. That's, I think uh, the song is also coming into my mind. I want to make a love to you. I need you now. I need you to need me like I need you. I don't want to be reminded of you. This person is like back and forth. They don't know what do they want. It's really crazy. It's driving them crazy. Your desire, passion, attraction. I have so much to say to you. Yeah, this person, they're definitely going to do something. I don't like when you ignore me. Yeah, look at this. This person is like going crazy. They're going to even get mad and angry. Why are you doing this? Yeah, I think you both have some ego issues. You both could be have something like, why me? And they're like, why me? So that type of energy going on here. Okay? between you and this person. So, and if you already did that, then obviously, I don't know. This person really, yeah, kiss me. Oh my God. There, there's a lot of um, sacral chakra energy here because I'm saying a lot of passion. Red and orange color. Oh my. Oh, <laughs> oh it's never happened. Look at this. Kiss me, kiss me. Oh my. You both are very, very passionate about each other. I think you both want to kiss each other. And this is that moment when you kiss each other, you don't want to leave, let each other go. It's going to be a very passionate kiss. And you could be even imagining and dreaming about it, or this person is also, or they already de did to you, and they want it again. This is also somebody who really, oh, they're literally going to tell you, like, I think this person literally going to tell you, kiss me. Kiss me more, kiss me, kiss me. This could be the song. I don't know. There's a lot of songs in Queen of Wands. This is all up to you, honey. If you are the Queen of Wands watching this video, this person is expecting and depending on you, whatever you're going to do. They even just want you to kiss them. 
I love you. They, they do. They have a lot of passion and desire for you. Yeah, it could be Canada from your yeah, heart. Look at this, a lot of red, passion, desire. We also have a Korea. We have Wheel of Fortune. Things are changing. The time will change. You're going to meet somewhere, maybe this person. Yeah, Cupid Zero, the love is coming. Okay, we have a R, T. I'm picking up retry, Retreat, Retire, U. Turn, yeah, turn. Something is going to turn or turn or return. I love you. It's coming twice. So confession. This is also somebody who's going to confess maybe in Japanese or they are Japanese or Japan. Um, scorpion. The connection is very strong. It's not going anywhere. S. Sun. Set. Saturn. Okay. Could be Capricorn. Or it's about long term. Jet. We also have, this is a positive sign. They're going to give you a sign, I think. Yeah, they, they could be getting uh, karmic people or things or attachments. Yeah, they're going to travel to see you or meet you if this is a long distance. Or you will go into this person's country or maybe they want to take some thing with you like um, planning the trip or something to do with. Also could be um, like a trip to Jama Japan, Korea, Canada, I don't know, South Africa, UAE. UK, I'm hearing O, T, another T, set, R, E, another R, tear, tree, could be important, New York, I'm hearing, yeah, the love is there, coming, yeah, there's something about need to heal and change and transform, S, stray, I, I, T, east, I'm hearing J, E, yeah, that's the words. I think this is, this is very intense connection. You already know it. You already feel it. You both are feeling it, by the way. I saw triple one. You're seeing a lot of signs. It's going to come. Yeah, this person definitely going to do it. Maybe uh, I was talking about, maybe this person need to take some type of a visa to visit you, to come to you. Or there's something about agreement is going on in this person's life. Like there's something they need to follow it. Or they could be working on something, like something with the government rule or they're waiting for something. Yeah, they're waiting for the right time. Could be a government rule. Waiting for a visa. They could be even a student. Right now they're studying. There's something about... They want to talk. They will. That's your reading. I'm going to see you later. Hello, group number three. The people who choose this raw citrine. Let's see the person on your mind. What are they currently feeling and thinking? What's going on? But first we're going to see... What's going on between you and them? Okay, so this person maybe have a choice. They need to make a choice. Let's see. Okay, wait a minute. My flamingo is going. This one. a lot okay oh this you could be getting a lot of signs from this person okay i'm also picking up this person is not coming very soon mm -mm, it's not coming very soon this person could be even regretting something like the past energy they could be when if you're waiting for an apology or making things work they could be when going through a dark night of a soul right now Whoever this is, they need a healing, definitely. Inner child healing or shadow work. This is someone who's going through intense energy. They could be even feeling betrayed. So they need to forgive. They could be regretting by something um, with you or, or maybe with somebody else. If this is somebody who cheated onto you, they're not coming very soon to heal the situation. Could be your ex that you're waiting for. If they will return or not, they will not. Coming very soon. They're gonna, it's like this person need to work on themselves. They're not changed, transformed. They could be regretting. They could be even missing you. They could be even sabotaging it this connection because some of you this person is going through awakening they may be even very very attractive and drawn to you they think you're very beautiful woman or man in this world especially if you're a woman like you are the woman of the class um, you could be getting a lot of signs and symbols about this person if you made the boundary with this person they really uh, want to speak up they want to talk yeah this person could be surrounded by the toxicity right now or they are toxic by themselves right now because they're going through a lot of purging, I'm hearing. 
It's a dark night of us all. They're in a dark place. They don't know what to do. Now, some of you bottom of the deck also, there was a karmic partner. So either this is your karmic partner that you're going through it. If they cheated onto you, they betrayed you, they were dishonest. Uh, they were not honest with you. They were not expressive. They lost it or they were toxic with you. Their behavior, their attitude, or they're dealing with a karmic partner who is very toxic. It's like, yeah, you make this person so happy. Enjoyment, kindness, they maybe want to come forward, they want to meet you, they want to express it. They could be even going to reach out to you um, by the liquid courage or strength. Now, some of you, this person could be even getting therapy, I think, or they need a therapy because, yeah, with the flow, surrender, trust, go with the flow. Yeah, they want to make it happen where it goes. But some of you, this person is really, I think, getting the strength and courage to speak up. Now, I don't know, this person is betrayed, um, they betrayed you or they're feeling betrayed by you or they could be betrayed by in their own life by the toxic environment or situation with a partner. Because I, I can see that this person is not in a good place mentally and emotionally and they're feeling a lot of emotions. Look at this water and look at this toxic. It's like there's something, it's all gray and dark in this person's life. Let's see how this person truly feel and think about you, the person on your mind, what's going on. I'm also hearing that this person is literally going to tell you that you are the only person that make them happy or you are the only happiness in this person's life because everything is dark, everything is toxic and you are that reason. Make them smile or make them happy. Like you could be even the person that, you know, it's like they feel emotions. They feel like they have something in themselves. Yeah, could be. Let's see now. How this person truly feel and think about you? What's going on? Page of cup. Yeah, they could even have a crush on you. They like you. Some of you, this is your crush. Yeah, they could be very creative um, in expressing their feelings. So they could be posting some stuff. They could be dropping the hints or signs. If you're not getting it, then they could be definitely not the hangman. Yeah, it's like they keep talking to you. But in a hint, or they keep posting stuff um, in something like creative way. They could be even shy and reserved. Ace of Pentacle, yeah, this person wants a new beginning. They could be even praying for it. They want to start a new beginning. You could be the new beginning for this person. But there are things that this person is stuck in. They could be even thinking or overthinking too much to send you this message. Either it's a confession or an apology because it's not coming very soon. It's like they keep going into a circle. Um, they could be even sabotaging it. Or maybe they're not ready for it because next is it's of pentacles for something solid right now. Oh yeah, what are they feeling? Eight of cups, yeah. Feeling. They need to le leave something behind, definitely. Something that either they need to leave their own attitude, their behavior... They need to leave something toxicity behind, a toxic place. It's not easy. There's something this person is struggling with. Three of Pentacles. Then this is gonna work. We also have a Four of Swords. This person, Five of Swords. Yeah, this could be. This person could be when. Um, yeah, they're definitely feeling betrayed by the people they're connected with. With the Three of Coins. They could even have something to do with the money issues going on here. They could be even connected with the money related with the karmic partner. Something to do with the money. A karmic situation. I don't know. Let's see what are the intentions. They could be a Pisces, Taurus. I'm also picking up um, Virgo. Cancer. Gemini could be. Let's see what are the intentions. Knight of Cups. Yeah, they, a lot of Cups. So they have definite emotions and feelings for you. Knight of Cups, yeah. Their intentions are definite. Could be Sagittarius. Yeah, they want to sweep you off your feet, I'm hearing. Knight of Cups. They want to be your Knight of Cups. They want to be your shining knight and shining armor. They want to sweep you off your feet. If this is a man, if this is a woman, she definitely want to date you. They're dreaming about you. Very romantic. But this is somebody who's definitely want to sweep you off your feet. I think you also make this person so happy. Um... It's like they just want to be your man, but they can't be your man. You know, or, or they want to be your woman, but they, want, they can't be your woman. Something like that. Knight of Cups, their intentions. 
Oh, I can't show you the wall card. It's naked. And six of cards. Oh, this is somebody who's definitely in love with you. Ten of swords. Okay, this is somebody from your past uh, with the six of cups and world. It's giving me the vibe of like six of cups and the world. Could be somebody from your past that you got over. Uh, or there's no I said triple one. Or they could be getting over someone from the past, I told you. They could even have a kids. Okay, or you have a kids. I don't know. For some of you, not for everyone. But I think this is somebody, the intentions are with the world and six of cups is definitely... They just want you to in their world or they just want to be in your world. Whatever the case is, they want to reconcile with you. They want to reconnect with you or they want you in their world. Ten of swords, but they don't know how it's going to work. It could be even a distance with the world card. Um, I'm also picking up this person want um, this emotional distance to end between you and them. Yeah, this could be somebody with the Ten of Swords and the World Card. They could be want to end this painful separation or ending between you and them. And if they did something to you with the, the betraying energy, if they betrayed you, they hurt you, they want to reconnect with you again. They want to reconcile. They want to date you again. Or they want to be in a relationship with you. Just just say it like that. Bas. Yeah, that's it. That's what, that's it. Six of Cups and World. They just want to be in a relationship with you. They just want to have you in their life. They don't want you to leave. Uh, King of, what is that? King of Pentacles, Taurus. This person is serious. Yeah, I think this could be a single dad or single father or a single parent or single uh, mother. I don't know. King of Pentacles is definitely a masculine energy. So I think this person is serious. Knight of Cups and the King of Pentacles. They're serious. They want to make it happen. And remember, we have Ace of Pentacles. They want to give you the world. Now, some of you, if this is somebody, um, it's like they want to have babies with you. With the world and Six of Cups, yeah. I'm hearing that they just want to have a, they want to create babies with you. They want to have their world with you, but with the babies. Like everything is full of happiness, joy, and love. Yeah, they want, they definitely want a lot of things. This person also thinks that you're going to make them happy. You make this person so happy. So they want their world with you. You are this person's world. Let's see now um, what they're going to do next. I'm thinking, definitely seeing the Taurus. This person is very stubborn, very slow, steady, wins the race. They're going to make it happen. They also want things um, to happen. Strength. Yeah, it could be. They definitely need a courage and strength to make it happen. Yeah, three of swords. Definitely a third party. It's not easy. They need to cut the third party with a strength card, with a courage and strength. It's like it's very complicated. It's very complicated. I can see that. Um, and that's why I told you they're not coming very soon. Now, with the strength and three of swords also, if this is someone who hurt you, betrayed you, um, cheated on you or hurt you, they just want you to forgive them. If you can. Or some of you, this person need to leave the third party. I told you, it's not easy. It's not easy because they are somehow linked with them, codependent with them. I don't know. Queen of Wands and King of Cups. Yeah, what they what they will do next could be Queen of Wands and Queen of King of Cups. Yeah, it's look like the way King of Cups is is pointing to this Queen of Wands. It's like they're just gonna let you decide what is your decision yeah they're going to let you decide if you will come they are they are there it's your it's your decision if you are you are watching this video or you could be a capricorn or you could be water sign but you could have an air or fire also i think this is somebody uh, your person is definitely expecting from you what, whatever you will decide i'm here if you will choose me i'm here if you don't want to choose me, if you don't want to stay with me, if you don't want to forgive me, I'm still here. The King of Cups, because I think this person has a feelings for you. And their love is growing so much with the Shrine card. But I think this third party will be there. A lot of you. Maybe they want to tell you something. Eight of Pentacles, yeah. It's, it's going to be a lot of work and effort. Maybe they're just expecting from you. 
to understand their situation because the way I'm seeing this person want to have a conversation or meeting or they just want to have this eight of pentacles is like understanding so you can understand that that how it's going to work maybe they want to explain something to you they want to meet you now if this is somebody there's no third party but they hurt you they mistreated you or betrayed you or they were deceptive they were not dishonest they were honest and uh, not honest with you they were not maybe somehow they they definitely did something or said something or never did something i don't know with the eight of pentacles now maybe they're ready so it's up to you maybe you have an option to be honest this could be you with the, because i'm seeing two kings and one queen so you maybe have a choice now you maybe have a lot of options you're gonna decide now wanna be with this person or not yeah high priestess and king of uh, there's a lot of kings and there's a lot of queens so could be uh, you have option this person has option so you both have option and you're both gonna maybe they are with someone you're with someone that could be it's like a multiple parties involved here that could be also the scenario the star yeah but you will be this person biggest star always they have a crush on you they like you they're gonna put you on pedestal this person always gonna admire you gonna put you on pedestal they're gonna like you they feel like you're the destiny you're also the person that who heal this person you have the it's like you have the core to this person pain you have the core to this person wound the star you will be always the star for this person i think the strength could be leo and aquarius axis uh, but i think yeah this is somebody with a star it's like they just want you to let you decide okay now let's see what they want to say to you this is somebody with a star it's like they also think that it's um whatever you desire whatever you like they're going to do it they're going to give it to you that's what i'm picking up here the way this person is energy is like they're going to give it to you i'm also hearing this person is going to give you the world because remember we saw the world they're going to give it to you but there are things that you need to understand you need to compromise you need to work with them with the eight of pentacles it's not going they're going to force you no they just want you to understand the situation with the eight of pentacles like you have to work with them like that it's a cooperative way it's like a deal it's like this person is like deal like that's what i'm picking up here but you will you're thinking about it and you're going to take your time it's like they want a, some type of a mutual agreement or commitment with you let's see what they want to say to you your presence in my life has turned my world ups and down yeah it's like <sighs> this person blindly trust you this person blindly love you or they are no matter what always you will be this person's star you will be they will always choose you their heart is definitely always on your side but there are some third parties or there are some things they could be connected with things i need more time and this could be you you will take your time i want to impress you they really want to they want to be your knight in shining armor i can feel your desire for me i see why everything happened the way i the way it did it did i want to hold you i'm so embarrassed over my actions so th if this person did something they're sorry i hope i have not lost you i really hate not communicating as much as i want to i forgive you oh uh, yeah it could be this is somebody who gonna forgive you it does not feel right being apart from you or if you're not gonna choose them still they're gonna forgive you because i think this person love has for you is like so much big please don't move on yeah but they, they also at the one at the same time want you to stay i stalk you they do i think you're perfect for me you're the ideal partner there that they always wanted you have no idea the pain you have caused me your exactly body has me drooling why are you so mean i hide who really i am from you okay this is somebody i was thinking of you last night so i think this is somebody who's like think that it's like they want to have you but they can't have you right or like or, or they want to have you but they can't be with you fully this is also somebody uh they just want to stay they just don't want you to move on but at the same time they can't give you what you are expecting or something i don't know that that type of a scenario is very complicated um why are you so mean so they maybe think that you're just thinking about themselves you're, you're just thinking about yourself not about them they maybe think you're mean you're not understanding their situation or love for you but it's look like they can't give you what you desire or need or there's something that they they, they want to find a middle way they expect from you to compromise with them or something but it's not good for you right it's maybe um 
because it's like this person wants you in their life. They don't want to lose you, that's why. Oh, a lot. Okay, so this person wanna say something to you a lot. That's a lot. Okay, the last one, so let's do it. We have two of cups and four of cups. Yeah, 24 or 42 could be important. Two of cups, the love is there, four of cups, but it's like disappointed love or Something about not fulfilling love. This person loves you, but they like they can't fulfill this offer. Like they can't get you or they can't have you. Or they can't be with you. I told you there's something about the love is so much. Sweethearts. Yeah, a lot of red, a lot of passion. Yeah, this person has a lot of this person have a genuine, real love for you. I can feel this. Whoever this is. They genuinely, really love you. And you're gonna feel it. But the things are complicated. Kiss me. They even wanna kiss you. S U R N Sun Russian New York Never give up. Uh, they're not gonna this is someone you're gonna be shocked and surprised. Or you were just like turned down to cold and they're like, I don't know what's happened. Yeah, five of wands it's because there's a lot of drama and complication. This person wants to kiss you. Uh, hug me, I'm trying. Yeah, you both could be not on the same page. I'm working on myself for myself by myself. Fun, yeah, they want to have a fun with you, they want to have a good time, make the memories with you, trust your journey. Unicorn, it's look like this person think that you are like an angel in their life or come from the universe, cosmic connection. The fun in love, Cupid arrow is coming also. Yeah, the bee, the, sorry, the fly, the moon and the cat. It's a very intuitive connection. E, UAE, they may want to meet you somewhere. You could be the eye candy or they want to eat you, I'm hearing. They want to have kids with you. They, they could be very stubborn. One hug, yeah. This person, sad songs. They could be listening sad songs, posting sad songs. This is a sign. Literally, they're definitely trying to give you. Yeah, they think you are the angel. They want, definitely want to have babies with you. C, could be air. They just want you to listen that sad song that they're sharing. The clouds, the uh, you know, like air, confusion. L, sorry, T, take care. T, another T, 10, completion. Christmas, the old, they're watching you, definitely. One kiss, one hug. It's looking like this person is saying, your one kiss, one hug is that. It's, I, I told you, you have the cord, this person. Or the break, or the sadness. Like you have this medicine to this person, broken hearted or something, to inflame could be. Yes. Yeah, scorpion. It's like this person is going to be always like going to be stalk you, obsessed with you. They're not going to leave you. They want to give you a bouquet, flowers. Uh, I don't make eye contact. This person is ignoring you or avoiding you. Superhero. Yeah, they want to be your superman or superhero. Could be a cancer. UK. T, another T. Yeah, we have the, could be Aquarius. Something about the government. Official, they could be the part of official group or something with the government, officials. We also have this crystal. So I think they're really trying to heal the situation they want to do. This could be when somebody who's going to call you. It's going to be love bombing. Not going to love bombing, like confession, messages, calls. If they, this person betrayed you, they, they want to apologize. They want to make things right and fix things with you. So this is your reading, but what is that? It's, uh, yeah. So that's your reading, like, and subscribe. Gonna see you later, bye.